An alternate approach for determining the steady state error is by using the feed forward gain. This technique may be preferable when the plant and compensator are known, but not the full system characteristics. System type is defined by the number of integrators or poles at the origin in the feed forward gain. Recall that the feed forward gain for a transfer function G of S is GC of S times GP of S or the product of the control transfer function times the plant transfer function. A type N system has N poles at the origin in G of S. In order to determine the steady state error, the final value theorem will be used on the closed loop transfer function. So if T of S is equal to Y of S over R of S or G of S over one plus G of S, we of course are assuming unity feedback then E of S is equal to R of S minus Y of S or R of S over one plus G of S. So the steady state error or the limit as S approaches zero is S R of S over one plus G of S. So now once again, let's see what happens to this equation when we have a step, a ramp and a parabolic input. When we have a step input, E of S becomes the limit as s approaches zero of s times a over s because this is how we represent a step over one plus g of s. Replacing s with a zero, this is a over one plus g of zero where kp is the position error constant, kp equals g of zero. For the ramp input, the steady state error is the limit as s approaches zero of s a over s squared over one plus g of s this simplifies to the limit as s approaches zero of a over s g of s. So kv is the limit as s approaches zero of s g of s. The parabolic input is s squared over a s cubed over one plus g of s, which simplifies to two a over s squared g of s, or two a over k a, where k a is the limit as s approaches zero of s squared g of s. So now let's summarize all of these characteristics in our table. When you have a type zero system, which has no integrators, then the step response error is A over one plus KB, and it cannot track a ramp or a parabola, and KP is the limit as S approaches zero of GC of SGP of S. When you have a type one system, then the steady state error for a step is zero, the ramp is A over KB, and a parabolic input cannot be tracked, so the error is infinity. And KV is the limit as S approaches zero of S G of S. For a type two system, the step is zero, the ramp is zero, and the parabolic steady state error is two A over K A, where K A is the limit as S approaches zero of S squared G C G P. Hopefully you can see the pattern in that if we went up to type three, type four, and so on, this will continue where the steady state error will continue to increment by one, and then you have to solve the equation for the error constant. Note that the higher the system type, the more accurate the system steady state response. Also, increasing the loop gain may reduce the steady state error, although this may affect other system characteristics as well. In class activity four, for the following control system, determine the steady state error for the three inputs, five U of T, five T U of T, and five T squared U of T. So notice this is a unity feedback system where the controller is a power amplifier with a transfer function of 12, and the plant is a servo motor with a transfer function of 10 times S plus two over S plus three times S plus four. So G of S is equal to GC of S, GP of S, which is equal to 120 times S plus two over S plus three times S plus four. This is a type zero system because there are no integrators or poles at the origin. So first we find for the step input, the position error constant KP is G of zero, which is 120 times two divided by 12, so KP is equal to 20. And the error 
is equal to A over one plus KP. So the error is equal to five over one plus 20. So the error for a step is five over 21. For a ramp, KV is equal to the limit as S approaches zero of S G of S and the limit is zero. So the steady state error is A over KV, five over zero. So just like we found on our table, for a ramp, a type zero system has an infinite steady state error. Now let's do the parabolic input where KA is equal to the limit as S approaches zero of S squared G of S. This also has a value of zero. So the steady state error is equal to A over KA, which is five over zero. And because it's a type zero system, the steady state error once again is infinity.